Obviously, it was a tough week, short week uh, in Miami, a tough place to play, tougher than a lot of people recognize in a really surprising 22-10 loss. The offense obviously struggled with the cover zero. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, but the defense, you've got to look at the performance of the defense. 60 yards rushing Miami, that's all they had. Three of 13 on third down, one of four in the red zone. A solid effort by the defense. And it was led by Calais Campbell. We need to talk about this six-time Pro Bowler or coming up with the Pro Bowl battling. It's hard to imagine people not considering him the top of the list for the interior lineman. And here's why. When you look at the film, uh, just the way that he gobbles up protections and run schemes. On this first play, he does such a great job of two-gapping this right guard. You can see that singles everybody else up, and he just really stones the guard and watches for the back to commit. This makes it very tough for the back as to which way he's going. And then once he decides, basically tosses the guard away and is able to be in and on the tackle. Now this next one is a classic TE stunt. You're gonna watch him line up on the center. He's gonna bring the off guard, the center and the right guard, collapse them all the way down that allows Owe to come around in a classic looping stunt to come free. So he ends up taking up three blocks that allows Owe to come around and get unmolested to the quarterback. This is a classic definition of a, a dominant inside player. Next, you're going to see, and this is really impressive. They give him a great deal of respect, as you should. They're going to end up trying to double him. So they're going to try to get the guard and the tackle to jump to the outside to the double. He literally takes both players, tosses them in through the hole, and now comes around and it is a part of the tackle. So even when they put two on one, he's able, and when you do that, again, what that does is singles everybody else up across the board. Now you're gonna see they make the mistake. You, you, you can't block this guy one on one. If you try to, you're gonna to have to pay the price. Here you're gonna see they're gonna take the left guard and he tries to come out and he's gonna to try to kick Calais Campbell out. He literally strong arms him up on the edge. What does that do? That pushes the back. He can't get to the outside. So he has to cut back all the way to the inside, right to Ellis Matabike. He's turning the running game back into the strength of the defense, as any, again, any dominant inside player is going to do. And on this last play, you, you can't make the mistake of going one-on-one. -on -one. If you do, you're going to pay the price. He takes the right guard and literally throws him out of the way, has unobstructed to the running back for a loss. So you can see by Clayus Campbell, it's the classic definition of a Pro Bowl player, someone that makes the players around him better. And the way he they're able to scheme around him, he's the one guy on the defense that every offensive coordinator has to start the game plan with and says, how are we going to account for this guy? So the Ravens are going to need this kind of performance by Calais Campbell, the rebound from obviously the tough loss against the Dolphins. The Bears have played a couple good games now. Justin Fields is playing better, had played very well against the Pittsburgh Steelers a couple weeks ago. And the offense could certainly expect to see many of the same types of pressure that they saw against the Miami Dolphins. Certainly the Ravens are going to continue to see the zero blitz until they can make a defense pay. It gives you plenty of opportunity with plays over the top. The key is, can you protect it? Can you hold up on the edges to give Lamar an opportunity? To, and they're going to win the matchup. Obviously with Brown and Bateman, you have just the right guys, whether it's to get over the top or as we saw with Miami, they're going to play loose enough. Yes, you can take those underneath throws, but then those players have got to make players miss. Uh, Lamar only averaged 5.5 yards per attempt. It's got to be bigger than that with the big plays once you catch and throw away a defender or get time and protection and get the big play over the top.